mm. you would make you alone, mm -hmm. and you would then become mm -hmm. a donor to the party for 100,000, and your name would go up on the website. So a name would go up. Uh, um, you then, she would then have to have something in her will to say that, that any loans that she granted to individuals uh, were, were null and void. Yeah, this is, yeah, this yeah. is um, I'm talking through what okay. can be done. Okay. Now, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. She can give money to what's known as an unincorporated association. Okay. Okay, an unincorporated association. And there is, there is one called Global Britain, okay? Yeah. Global Britain. Yeah. Now that was started. Is that a company or? It's an unincorporated association. I see, yeah. So it's not a company. Okay. Unincorporated. A company means it's incorporated. That's what the word company means. Okay. Uh, um, it's an unincorporated association. Yeah. And you, Malcolm Pearson, who's our leader, mm. started that up a number of years ago. So people would put money into it. Now, the rules will change ultimately on this. Mm. But at the moment, um, I've spoken to Nigel Farage, and he says at the moment you can put £25,000 into Global Britain and you will remain anonymous. And your name doesn't... There is an element of trust, though, yeah. that your aunt wants that money into UK. Yeah. Now, as the thing is run by Malcolm Pearson, yeah. as he is the leader of UK, there's a pretty good chance mm. that the mm. money will go in the right mm. direction. Mm. Mm. Did you, that would be for anything between 25 and upwards? Um, a loan, a loan can be yeah. for any of that. Yeah, yeah. Any of that. But, but if, you, but if, if it's you're under at, 25... If you're looking to way of getting a substantial sum yeah. of money yeah. in your name, but, but remember, your name has gone away. Yes, yes. And it would then take quite an investigative journalist to try and work out well who is the Marlon Franks. No one knows who I am. Yeah. Uh, and then to try and, yeah. and then to yeah. It's quite difficult then, mm. and nobody knows. Mm. You know your particular status. You could have inherited money. I mean, young women do that. Absolutely. Their parents can. They can be an only child, and their parents can die and leave them. A townhouse and a country house. Absolutely. I mean, that happens, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And as long as um, yeah. and you're, you're, you must be on electoral roll. I am. Um, but this, this, this the, the loans is one way of doing it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he work for Brussels as well, or just here? No, 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 yeah. no. He, um, yeah. I, I think to myself, well, do I tell Carl what goes on? Yeah, yeah. And yet, you know, your family are going to give us some money, and it does appear to be serious, so I can tell you that Peter is paid partly by me out of my assistance allowance here, partly by David Bannerman. Yeah. He does very little work for us, virtually none. I mean, he's working for the party, and that's strictly illegal. Is it? Yeah, really. He, he, he should be. He should be working. He's called my constituency representative. Mm. That's what we call him. But he doesn't represent his constituency.